Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Scorpio watching 100%. So let's get into it for Scorpio. What do we need to know for Scorpio? Regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? Okay. I'm going to be cutting the deck. What do we need to know for Scorpio? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Looks like they don't want me to cut the deck then. What else do we need to know for Scorpio? Maybe they do. Okay, tell me about Scorpio's energy. There you are, Scorpio. Showing up to your own reading. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is, has, will be dealing with. Oh, I got three. I got three. Interesting. Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Fool. And then you have the Two of Pentacles. So it's almost like you're both thinking about something. Because you have the Death card, which is about endings, new beginnings, and they have the Fool. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Where is all of this headed in the near future? My deck is going crazy. Where is all of this headed in the near future for Scorpio? Okay. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. Okay. Hmm. A lot is going on here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity, a new offer. Um, but I feel like both of you are kind of hesitating in your own ways. I feel like you're thinking about whether to pull the plug on something. And they're thinking about the beginning of something. So it's almost like you're not really thinking on the same page here, but I might be wrong about that. We'll clarify to see. Because there's a lot going on here with the Ten of Wands. A lot has happened over time. And now it's becoming too much for someone. Um, tell me about the energies here for Scorpio. Tell me about the energies for Scorpio. What do we need to know? Unhealthy attachments, pure seduction, and lasting promise. Know, ever since I started this reading, my cards have been going crazy. Okay. Well, unhealthy attachments and pure seduction, I think immediately of the devil energy, which is, you know, all about restriction, lust, desire, unhealthy att attachments, and then past life. So I think I'm speaking to a Scorpio where there is an unhealthy attachment either that you're in right now or there's a third party attachment that is unhealthy. Let's get into this because I feel like there's a lot that I'm missing. Can I get some clarity please for Scorpio? Some of you, there could be a marriage here, something with a commitment because we have lasting promise. And that might be unhealthy, that might be an attachment, that might be a restriction for one of you, for both of you. The King of Pentacles for me as a reader tends to usually be married, so they're showing up on your person's side there. They might be the ones that are in an attachment. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Wands. What do we need to know about this Ten of Wands? Strength, Leo energy. So someone, you know, maybe they just need strength to deal with this. Courage to deal with this. Difficulty. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the Ten of Wands? Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is something that takes time. I feel like someone has been working on this offer or something to do with like job, career, finances. Job and career are the same thing, but you know what I mean. It's like 
because the Ace of Pentacles is here. So this is all about a new opportunity, a promise, something tangible, an offer of some sort. So when I see these together, it's almost like someone has been going through a lot to get this opportunity to have this Knight of Pentacles. And they just kind of like need to be strong and hang in there. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles there? The Lovers, wow, Gemini energy. So this is about a partnership. Yeah, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there's love here. Someone's thinking about the person they care about when it comes to this Ace of Pentacles. There's the Seven of Cups. So, Once again, I get this energy of someone that's been thinking a lot or dealing with a lot. Yeah. Queen of Swords and then the Eight of Swords. So interesting. It's like with the Seven of Cups, it's all about options, choices, um, making the right choice. And then we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords kind of here. So right away, I'm thinking of two people. And then the Eight of Swords. So it's like someone's maybe afraid to make a decision between two people or you're uh, afraid to make the wrong decision. Like maybe they're thinking, you know, I don't want to think too logically about this or too emotionally about this. We'll see if that comes up again. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Okay, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. And there's the Ace of Pentacles again. So this offers for this Queen of Wands. But once again, someone's really been thinking about this, planning with the Hermit. Five of Swords and the Fool. This is your person's energy. But the Five of Swords, it's like there's a battle here or a conflict or maybe a situation where someone isn't seen as a good person. You know, maybe this Fool energy is like this new beginning is something that someone will have to be like, either they have to go through difficulty to achieve it or they have to be a bad person to achieve it. Something like that. Two of Pentacles after that. That's your energy over here. It's like you're wondering what they're going to do. Which option will they choose? Will I manifest what I want? Okay, let's look at both of your energies then. Okay. Hang on. I don't know what's going on with me. Ever since I started this reading, I'm like, get, get yourself together. Okay, tell me about the energies between Scorpio and this other person. Scorpio, I have your energies on the left and your person's on the right, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Main male, so there's a masculine energy that's relevant. What else? also need to know for Scorpio main female <laughs> so it's, it's a partnership between two people okay now there's false person okay hold on my cards are false person wanted to show up too okay I think those are okay huh false person is someone you don't trust so I, I sense that in your on your end here Scorpio you feel like you can't trust somebody maybe this person had to hide themselves or wear a mask or there was some some sort some situation here where someone wasn't true to themselves tell me about Scorpio's energy Scorpio's person tell me about Scorpio's person tell me about Okay, so there's something here about infidelity, but I'm not, okay, imprisonment. There's something here about infidelity. Someone's not being faithful, but I don't know who, it's just I'm getting it. I'm getting that energy. Change. Okay, so your person wants something to change in their life. They're feeling stuck, they're feeling imprisoned. Um, I feel like they're looking for a way out with the fool. 
what is going on? I feel like I'm missing a piece here. Let me feel free to let me know in the comments what I'm missing, but I feel like there's something here that I'm not quite getting. Can I get some insight into this person that Scorpio is has or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Scorpio is dealing with? Spread. What do we need to know? The mouse. The mouse is focused on the little details. Nervous energy. They're focused on the little details and not the big picture. And then the fish is someone that kind of like is directionless. They don't really know where they're going. They're just going with the flow. Interesting. I feel like this person put themselves in a situation that they're now trying to get out of. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let me get... Actually, I want to get a hidden, hidden truth oracle for them. Can I get some more insight into this person that Scorpio is dealing with? And I don't use a secret moon for you. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box, by the way. Tell me about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. What are their feelings, thoughts, energies when it comes to Scorpio? What do we need to know about this person? So many things remind me of you. So they're thinking about you, and I feel like they're not really with you. I hate who I really am from you. Exactly. So I feel like this person had to wear a mask. They might have presented themselves to be something that they're not, Scorpio. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments, but that's what I'm getting. Let's look at your energy. Can I get one more, please? I feel like this person might have hit the fact or lied to you, deceived you about another person. Or about, you know, the fact that they were not single or were single, something like that. Or maybe they lied to you about the fact that they were wanting to commit to you. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. What do we need to know about Scorpio's energy? My heart belongs to you. Interesting. So I feel like Scorpio, despite what's happened, you still care about this person. Or this is what this person is telling you. You know, you, my heart belongs to you. They're probably trying to reassure you there. But I, I get the sense, Scorpio, that you're not sure about this person or what they're going to do or something. Because you have the two of pentacles. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here? The eight of wands. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Two of Swords, yeah. So either you're thinking about this person's choices. What decision, what action will they take? Why are they undecided? Or you are thinking about a certain action that you want to take that you're undecided about. Can I get one more for the Two of Pentacles? Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Two of Wands. This is about a decision. Yeah, someone has not made a decision. And this could be you or your person. I'm not getting clarity there. Tell me about death. It's like, what decision will they make? What option will they choose? Uh, there's insecurity uncertainty there okay hold on sorry i'm dropping everything over here nine of cups ah i almost lost my whole deck i don't know what's going on here i feel like very like scatterbrained and all over the place right now <laughs> tell me about death tell me about death it's like someone wants something to end eight of pentacles i feel like this decision is about ending something about the death card. Ten of Wands, yeah. This is this decision is about ending something, and I feel like you want to know: will something end? Will something change? 
because I feel like this person might have told you that something was going to end or change and they're not actually doing anything about it. If you're dealing with a Pisces, go watch that reading because it's very similar to this. But I feel like <clears throat> some of you Scorpios, a small number of you, this is you. You're the one that has to make this choice. And, and ending something for you, like if you end something, you will have your wish. You will address something that has been kind of plaguing this connection. Because there's a burden here. There's a baggage here with Ten of Wands. And that needs to be dealt with in order to have the Knight of Pentacles. And it's going to require strength and courage. <clears throat> Let's look at your person. Tell me about this Three of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Six of Cups. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify all of these um, first and then I'll look at them all together. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this King of Pentacles? What am, I'm getting baby face. I don't know why I'm getting that. <laughs> wow, the Four of Wands. Four of Wands with the King of Pentacles for me as a reader is like someone's living with another person, providing for another person, providing for a family, or having a family. Oh my gosh, my freaking deck. Okay. Six of Swords and Judgment. Yeah, I feel like your person's the one that needs to leave a situation. Tell me about the Fool. Tell me about the Fool. And this could also be that they live with parents, siblings, and they provide for them in some way. Tell me about the Fool. Why is the Fool here? Okay, no. Tell me about the Fool. Six of Cups and the Four of Wands with the Lovers. There could be a soulmate situation here. Queen of Swords and the Empress. Page of Wands. Okay. Let me look at all this together. Yeah, there's someone else here. There's someone else here. I feel like your person has to make a judgment call and they're not doing it. It could be, if there are children involved, that's the answer why. If they have children, that's what's holding them up. If they don't have children, I feel like there's something here with the past that's like an issue for them. Tell me about the Three of Wands. It's like they're waiting for something to happen here. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. So I feel, there's a the devil. These, these energies that came up earlier. I think your person, from what I see here, they have to make a decision to leave and be free, but there's something about this waiting game that they're at right now, this hesitation. Whatever they're waiting on, whatever they're hesitating on, I feel like it's, a, it's an excuse. And I almost feel like someone's putting their feet to the fire. Like someone's like forcing them to make a decision, you know, or someone's like pressuring this them to make a decision. Let's look at what you can expect in the near future. The Emperor. Wow, we have the Emperor and the Empress here. Aries energy. The Knight of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? It's reminding me of that main female energy over there. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Knight of Cups. So this Knight of Cups is for you. You're that Nine of Pentacles. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? What's this Knight of Cups about? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles and the Hierophant. They're going to apologize for the fact that they're making you wait, that they're making you doubt that there's uncertainty here because of whatever situation they have over there. Taurus energy. If you're dealing with a Pisces, go watch that reading. <laughs> it's just so similar. Tell me about the Emperor. Tell 
tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? The queen of wands again. The sun. And the star. Well, it's funny because they're showing up as king of pentacles, emperor, energy. Typically, these people don't play around. Um, they're doers as well. The king of pentacles takes his time, but he does get it done. The, the emperor, he's more like, let me take charge. Let me do this. Let me do what I need to do. I feel like this person is going to ask for some more time. Tell me about the knight of cups. Tell me about this Knight of Cups down here. What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups? The High Priestess. Watch out. Tell me about the Knight of Cups because I'm thinking about that Seven of Swords up there. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles. So here's the Five of Wands. The third party is a problem they're still here they're still around they're still an issue i feel like you're a queen of wands and they're dealing with a queen of pentacles and i feel like there's something going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of yep there's something going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of i feel like your person's going to be like i'm taking care of it but what they're not telling you is i haven't officially resolved it or there's more to it than you know I'm actually stuck because I feel like if they were to tell you the complete truth about their situation, if they were to be completely honest with you, I think you would make a certain decision that they are not going to like. Because I feel like there's like this overall energy of like ultimatum or you have to make a decision or a pressure that someone's feeling. I think someone's feeling this pressure to act, to do what they've been saying they're going to do, to address the problem. But I think that there's something that you're not aware of, Scorpio, that is going to delay this process. And maybe you are aware of it, and maybe you're just getting sick of it, because there's definitely some conflicts here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Empress. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person's stuck. Tell me about the Queen of... Page of Wands and Seven of Cups. Yeah. They're trying to figure out a way to deal with this imprisonment energy. But I think what they're doing is they're talking about it. They're not actually like this page of wands is important because the page of wands is willing to take a risk. The page of wands is willing to be this full energy. I think that this person is trying to figure a way out to take action. Um, yeah, but you know, it's. I think they're trying to avoid this ten of swords, but there is no avoiding it. It's like they go back and forth, just as Four of Swords, because Four of Swords is the opposite of the Page of Wands. So it's almost like they're waiting, waiting around, hesitating, because I think they don't want to get here to this Ten of Swords. But unfortunately, I think that they're going to have to choose, which you know about already. You know they have to make a choice. And it's like they're doing everything they can to delay that choice or to maybe end something but not have it be so difficult to deal with ah let me get a secret moon for them and then i'll wrap this up tell me more about this person scorpio is dealing with tell me more about this person that scorpio is dealing with what do we need to know about this other Person. What do we need to know about this other person that Scorpio is dealing with? I have a lot on my plate. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, I wasn't honest with you. Yeah. We've gotten that before as well because I feel like this person hid something from you. What was it? Was it the back here? Yeah, I hid who I really am from you. Is here. I feel like they're hiding the fact that this is going to be harder than it they've said or that this is going to be a decision that they cannot make you know it's almost like i can't make this decision right now i have to deal with this and that it's almost like all they have are excuses and you're starting to question that or at least you need more than an excuse that's kind of what i'm getting here let me know if that resonates for you in the comments scorpio i'd love to hear from you guys 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope that it brought some clarity. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed the reading or how I read. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.